What is going on, everybody? Oh, pretty good Halloween voice for uh, Halloween coming up. Might have to keep that voice around. All right, Bucky, getting off track already 10 seconds in. So uh, let's focus on the tutorial. What I'm going to teach you guys in this video is how to get the minimum, the maximum of a dictionary and also how to sort the entire dictionary so it's nice, neat, and in order. Now you guys may be thinking that there's some really easy function that's already built into Python to allow you to do this in a simple kind of way. But unfortunately for us, there is not, and it's not really intuitive to figure out at first. So that's why I want to make this tutorial. It's going to save you guys a bunch of time, and you probably want to do this every time you work with dictionary. So, oh, that wasn't me. Um, so I'm going to have to blame that one on someone else. All right. So the first thing we need is a dictionary. So I'm just going to make mine out of pretend stock prices that I'm just going to pull off the top of my head. And we'll say that we have like five companies or something. Now I know the ticker symbol for Google is G-O-O-G. And this one usually trades for like 520 bucks. And let's just make something else. I know Facebook, FB, like 76, 54, 45, whatever. Um, Yahoo, I do know this one too. Um, we'll say this one is like 39.28. And what's another one? I know Amazon and Apple, and that's it. So Amazon, that's not it. A M Z N. Um, this one's actually pretty expensive, around like three hundred five dollars usually. And Apple, A A P L. That's the last one I know. That is as far as my financial knowledge goes. It's somewhere around a hundred bucks. So this is a dictionary. Of course, these aren't accurate values, but it's good enough for this example. And this would resemble something like if we scraped some website and pulled all of the um, prices off, or maybe someone emailed us a list of stocks that they were interested in and wanted us to make some program for it. This of course would be an example of what they gave us it's not sorted in any kind of way not alphabetical order not by price and of course it would be handy to have this nice and sorted so the first thing I want to do is show you guys exactly what you need to do to either get the minimum get the maximum or just like sort it and print it out so first what you need to do is actually use that zip function that we learned earlier and what we're going to do is actually treat this as two lists. A list of keys, which is the name, and a list of values. Now, if you guys don't know what zipping does, um, go watch my zip tutorial. I made it like two tutorials ago. But a one-sentence overview, it takes two lists and it zips them together into a list of tuples. So now they're tied together and now we can do some pretty cool things to them. So again, what we're going to do is we're going to use that zip function and I want to mention this you can not just sort a dictionary by default but you can sort a zipped list since it is a list now whenever Python sorts things it looks at the first element in that list so remember whenever you zip a list you give it two lists which in this case is the prices or the name and you time together so why am I saying this? I just said that. Well, it's actually really important because the item or the list that you throw in first is how it, it's going to sort it by. So if you throw in the prices first, your result is going to be sorted by prices. If you throw in the names first, it's going to be sorted by names. In other words, alphabetical order. So let's say that we actually want to sort these by the prices. Remember, technically, these are called the keys and these are called the values. So the first item we zip is going to be the values. So stocks, values, that's the first list we're throwing in, all the blue stuff. The second one is just going to be stocks and keys right there. So now what we have is pretty much a nice list that is zipped together, and we can perform any function that we would on any other list. So let's just go ahead and get the minimum value of this list by taking this and throwing it in min and there we go so what this is going to do is it's going to get the minimum value of this nice zipped list now I actually just want to print out that value so that 
is how we're constructing that. And I know I kind of built it inside out, but uh, I just wanted to break it down. You know, not kind of like rap game, break it down. But uh, yeah, that's how it works. So let's run this and check it out. So again, it gives us 3928 Yahoo. Now again, the thing I want to point out is that even though the zipped list consists of two values, it sorted it or gave us the minimum price because the value of a dictionary is the second element. So that's why it zipped it together, got the minimum, and it printed it out. Now, of course, the max is just really easy. Change min to max. Run that bad boy. Boom, roast. The next thing you know, you got the max price. Pretty freaking sweet. Now, of course, if you want this sorted, you guys want like the third easiest thing in the world, change that max to sorted. And now let's go ahead and run this. OMG, Bucky, check it out. You just sorted an entire dictionary really, really easily. So again, now you can see kind of how this entire um, zip to list is constructed by a set of values and keys. And of course, the reason that it's sorting by the price is because we threw values in first. So it goes from minimum to maximum, Yahoo being the cheapest and Google being the most expensive. If we ever wanted to sort it by uh, the name, all we have to do is change this to keys and this to values. And what this is going to do is it's going to zip it together a little bit differently, flip flop the two around, but you still get a nice sorted dictionary now in alphabetical order. So you guys are now experts on how to get the minimum, maximum, and make a nice sorted dictionary. Check this out. It's pretty much all one simple line of code. Python would be really nice if they have a built-in way, but you know, it was easy enough. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.